YouTube, what's up? This your boy Ray Mac. Today what we're going to do, we're going to do is some cube steak on top of the stove. And we're going to do this in some onion gravy. So these are the ingredients that we have. I got six cube steaks. Then I have some onions. Then I have some salt, some garlic powder, some parsley flake with some onion powder, some black pepper. And right here I have some beef flavoring along with some all-purpose flour just so we could dredge our beef in all right so let's go ahead and get started with this the first thing i want to do is i want to go ahead and season this meat up so i got some salt this is kosher salt i'm gonna hit this off on both sides but right now what i'm gonna do is just season up one side for you guys on camera and then off camera i'm going to go ahead and season the other side so i'm not going to use a lot of salt to this because we're going to try to keep it as good as possible without being over salty the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add some of this here garlic powder this garlic powder is going to give it a nice little flavor and if you try this recipe please let me know if you tried it and if you could share this recipe with your friends and family members also take a picture of this here recipe and post it on your facebook instagram or twitter and use the hashtag Raymac style. That lets me know um, that you've done it and I can go and check it out for myself. I really appreciate it, y'all. And I also got this here black pepper. We're about to hit it off and just shaking it, shaking it, shaking it going. This is going to be seasoned up, y'all. I'm telling you, we're not going to have no bland food. And you're going to definitely love this recipe. And I'm not using a lot of seasons for the simple fact I want to keep this simple and easy as possible now we're going to use some garlic powder to this all right so the next thing i'm going to add to this is some parsley flakes just a little bit All right, that's all I want to do. Now I just want to go ahead and pat it in. And I'm going to flip. And I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side of these cube steaks. And we'll be ready to dredge these up into some flour. And after that, we'll be ready to go ahead and cook these on top of the stove. This is what we're gonna do. We got us a pie pan. And I just wanna take some of this here flour. Now this flour is pretty much seasoned just a little. This is my seasoned flour. I wanna take my cube steaks. And only thing I wanna do is just give them a nice little coating. And once I coated them, just wanna take them off. That's all I wanna do. Shake off the excess flour. Go to the next one. Same thing. Don't have to worry about coating them so well. Cause we're just gonna fry these up. Want to just give them a nice coat on both sides. And y'all are definitely love this here recipe. Trust and believe me. And especially with that onion gravy. And. When I do make the gravy, if you want to use mushrooms in your gravy, you could definitely use that. But I'm not going to put mushrooms in it. We got our meat dredged up. Let's go to the stove. Okay, y'all. I got my cast iron skillet heating up on top of the stove, right? This is my oven cast iron. I could definitely cook with this on top of the stove. So I just want to take some vegetable oil and just put enough in there. Probably about that much would do just enough not to cover the total bottom of the um, pan but just enough all right so this is where the temperature is right now on this here so we're going to go ahead and add in our meat and brown it up And 
And I got my stove on um, medium high heat. So if you got to turn yours down, go ahead and do so. So the only thing we really want to do right now is just brown these up. We don't want to try to cook them all the way through. And then we'll go to the next step after that. So what we're going to do now is just going to go ahead and just turn these over. That's a good crust right there, so I might rotate them a little bit because the center of the stove is right up in here. So after these brown up, I just might move these over just so that they could brown up as well, just like these have. I'm just going to remove this one. Slide this one over. So now I just want to add my onions and I did clean the pan and took out some of the remaining of the grease of that oil. Just want to let these brown just a little bit. Alright, so I got me a container of water. I'm going to leave the measurements in the show much section below. So you guys will definitely know how much to put in if you want to try this recipe. Like I said, I'm going to leave the measurements below. And I got the um, heat on medium high heat. Now I want to go ahead and add some of this here Nora's beef flavoring. I'm going to go in with some black pepper. I'm try to keep it as basic as possible. Hand of salt. With just a little bit of the garlic powder and the onion powder. All right, so right now what you're seeing me do is I'm whipping up some of this here slurry that's just water and flour. And I got at least around about three tablespoons of flour in here. And I put in at least around about a good three tablespoons of water. But um, that's all that it is, is just water and flour. And I just want to go ahead and just add this to it. Make a, This will be the thickening agent for our gravy. So I want to go ahead and thicken this up like right now. And just so we don't be lumpy, you want to go ahead and Move things around and excuse me for the noise with the fork. Matter of fact, let me switch that right quick. So I got me a wooden spoon so you guys don't get annoyed by the noise. So I might add just a little bit more water to this. So you thicken up as you go. If you want it, you can judge it by how you want it. So I just add just a little water at a time. Just so I can get that consistency that I'm looking for. 
Get a little bit more, just a little bit. Once you add to it, you can't take it back. Whenever you're trying to make that gravy, you want to be precise as possible. And if I have that, um, add more water to it to thin it out, then I go as I cook. So, so right now, what I do want to do to this is just add just a little bit of parsley. Give it a stir. Now I'm gonna add my meats to the pot. And I'm gonna turn my heat down to medium. And let it simmer for a little bit. So I'm gonna let this cook for at least around um, 35 to 40 minutes on top of the stove and every once in a while I come back check it and if my gravy look like it's, it need to um, have a little bit more water I go ahead and add it so right now what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit more water and it will cook down Now, if you want to use beef broth, be my guest. Use the beef broth. Don't come at me, food police. Oh, he just using water when he should have used beef broth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. So, I'm going to let these cook down just a little bit. And put a cover on these. right back all right so we about into about ready to, to finish this cook but let me just show y'all something real quick okay so right now this is like a blonde color gravy but it's still pretty much um ready to eat ready to rock and roll now if you like your gravy a little bit more darker than this all right if you like it a little bit more darker than this what you could do is you can get you some um, some grace browning if you can see it all right get you some grace browning and all you need to do is just add a drop that's it just add a drop to it and that's it that's that's just about as much as you need just a drop move it all around and it'll give you a nice brown color. That grace does wonders to the gravy. Just move it around. All you need is a drop. So I got at least around about a good 15 minutes still on this. And I might add just a little bit more water. Just a little bit more water. And then I'll taste for seasonings. And if I have to add any more, then I'll go and add. But right now, smelling good, y'all. Like I said, this is an easy, easy, easy cube steak recipe
I really hope you guys enjoyed this here recipe. If you could, please subscribe to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and also comment below. And I always say this at the end of all of my videos, love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. Now get in that kitchen and cook something. I love you guys. If nobody told you that they love you, let me be the first to say it. I love you. Peace.